introducing themselves, and Donald Trump just uh, gave some comments there covering a few different topics. So I want to bring in our panel now. We have CNN political analyst and Washington Post political reporter Abby Phillip, CNN political commentator and Republican strategist Doug High, and CNN senior congressional reporter Manu Raju. Okay, so first to you, Abby, as you're watching this, uh, it seemed that there was this, maybe not surprising, level of comfort that Donald Trump has with CEOs. I mean, he's ribbing them over the taxes they pay and their salaries. And uh, this seems to be a place where he is very comfortable as he is uh, asserting these claims that he is going, in a big promise, going to bring back jobs. Yeah, he certainly is. I mean, this is a place where he's surrounded by people who he's known for a long time, many of the, these CEOs, both inside and outside of his cabinet. And it's also one of the reasons why the White House tries to schedule the president's day so that almost every day he has a meeting like this where he's uh, sitting around a table with a bunch of people who are job creators and he can talk about what he's doing to bring back jobs, to bring back factories. Um, and and it basically is 15 minutes a day where he gets this sort of media coverage here on CNN and elsewhere um, for his jobs agenda, which is often the most focused that the president is in his day. Um, and it, it, it is uh, something that I think that the White House probably would like to do more of, but, uh, but as, as we all know, the, the, there are a lot of other things that tend to come up, and sometimes the president himself is the one uh, sort of changing the subject to something completely different. Yeah, speaking of, I mean, he said there, Doug, that he was saying, do you think that would have happened if Hillary had been elected? He always seems to be looking back to the election. Yeah, I, I would advise them not to keep looking back, not to keep talking about Hillary Clinton. Really, that the campaign is yesterday's news. They won. They won fair and square. Keep focusing on these optics that are very good optics for, for Donald Trump. This is a safe space that he's in right now with all these CEOs. It's a very different room uh, than, say, if it were filled with members of Congress and senators. He can talk to these CEOs on their level because he's been there. And the optics that we see, the visuals that we see, show Donald Trump doing the job of president, trying to create jobs, which fits perfectly with what his message is. They should keep doing this as often as possible. Doug, how does he do that if you're looking at the numbers on automation really being the jobs destroyer? It's not, you know, he talks about China joins the WTO and then look what happens to all of these jobs. Well, a lot of those were lost because of automation. Those are jobs that he can't bring back. Isn't that a promise that he's in danger of being unable to keep? I, I think it is a problem for him that clearly automation has ch it's changed the world in, in so many positive ways. But if you go to, to communities in this country where the jobs are gone and they may not be coming back, that's a real problem for Trump. The benefit that he has, though, because he's such a different uh, politician than we've ever seen before, Trump, I, and I heard this, I was just in North Carolina uh, for the past few days, and the one thing I heard several times was people saying, well, at least Donald Trump is trying. He gets a big benefit of the doubt from his supporters in a way that we haven't seen in the past. He gets a benefit for trying. So, Manu, you heard Doug there saying Donald Trump is more comfortable with CEOs than maybe talking to members of Congress. If any